I'm Joyce Britton, and I'm the host of the web series Tales of the Trills, and also the writer of the blog edition of Tales of the Trills. And I just want to welcome you to the Facebook page. It's been a long time um, in the works. I just kind of thought about it at first, but then I was like, oh, should I really set up a Facebook page? I've got the blog, you know, but this allows me more interaction with you. So I finally did it. Finally took the plunge, made a Facebook page, and I'm really excited to have you along the journey with me of the Tales of the Trails. So first I want to just, um, for those of you that are new, I want to introduce Tales of the Trails to you and explain a little bit about what it is and how it was started. I started um, this series uh, back in 2011 and it's based on an experience that I had at Yosemite National Park in 2010, the year before that, where I climbed Half Dome. Well, along that journey, I went through so uh, many physical issues um, just because that was my first real mountain to climb. And um, it was the longest hike that I had done up to that point. And so the whole climb, I just had all these negative thoughts like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this or maybe I'm not cut out for this after all, you know, the whole way up. And I almost turned around and went back. But um, I just got that second and third, fourth wind even, and I was able to push to the top. Plus, I had some wonderful friends that encouraged me along the way, and so I did it. But after I came down from that experience, I started thinking about those thoughts that I had, and something in me clicked, and I was like, wait a minute, you know, I've heard these thoughts before. Throughout my life, I heard these thoughts, these same thoughts, but in different um, areas of my life. And I just started writing them down. And all the time I'd been taught to take those, take every thought captive. And I was like, I never really um, got a deeper understanding of what it actually meant to take thoughts captive until um, this experience. And so I, in writing those thoughts down, I also wrote down the opposite of those thoughts. Like, um, oh, I'll never make it to the top of this mountain. I said, oh, yes, I can make it to the top of this mountain. And I did, you know, so I, you know, just counter each one of those thoughts. And I ended up with this 20 page essay about the whole experience and how it related to my everyday life. And um, like I said, a year after the Half Dome adventure, I started this blog, Tales of the Trails, and just documented um, that essay throughout daily installments of the blog. And so the whole Lord of the Rings influence where I say, what sort of tale have we found ourselves in? Well, well, yeah, that is from Lord of the Rings, and hopefully it's not a copyright infringement. I really like it, and, you know, if anything, it's promoting the movie, but, um, <laughs> or the series of movies, the books. So, but anyway, it's sometimes um, I've felt that way in life. Like, what sort of tale have I found myself in? Um, you know, some I heard an author say once that life can sometimes be like a movie that we've arrived to 40 minutes late. Well, I felt that way a lot, and so... Um, Taking that, bridging the, the experiences from the trails to my experiences in life um, helps you know me to understand that bigger story a whole lot better. And so I'll always say, um, actually the line from the books and the movie is, what sort of tale have we fallen into? Um, and so in the hiking world and climbing world, you don't want to use words like fallen or stumbled or anything like that. So I just changed it to what sort of tale have we found ourselves in or what sort of tale will I find myself in when I go on this adventure today. And usually there's always some sort of a story um, that I come back with that I can relate to my everyday life. And it's just fabulous. It's amazing. And I'm so happy to have you guys on this journey with me. Um, and so I just want to um, share with you some of the things that you can look forward to in the future for Tales of the Trails with the new addition or with the addition of the new Facebook page, as well as the Twitter page, the existing website and the web series. Um, there's it's an inspirational series. And my goal, um, I've made it my purpose in life to inspire and encourage others because um, there's too much hopelessness in this world. There's too much, too many people feeling like they just have no future. They have no hope and they're just, um, and people are, you know, pulling others down and things like that. Well, I like to encourage people and build people up. And so that's what the, that's also a, a purpose for this um, blog and web series. I want to pick you up and by doing so, you know, help you in your active pursuits like hiking and climbing and whatever it is that you do. But I do want to motivate you to get out there and get active and um, experience the outdoors because that's where I, um, a lot of joy and love can be found. But um, so yeah, I want to inspire you and motivate you to get out there and do these things for yourself and to live above what you see as personal limitations, you know, because you can overcome 
any shortcoming, any limitation. I'm living proof of that, okay? So I'm not the only one that can do it. You can too. And I want to show you how and motivate you to get there too. And another thing that you can expect from this is, um, like I said, hope. You know, I want to um, fill you with hope. You're going to see a lot of adventure on the blog too and on the web series because um, that's the heart of it as well is adventure we are living a life of adventure whether we think it's an adventure or not some people's adventure is sitting at home on the couch but hopefully that adventure has a plot point where you're going to get up and off that couch and get to moving soon <laughs> so yeah you're going to see a lot of adventure um and it's not all going to be climbing peaks some of it will be going through canyons or valleys because Sometimes our life is about canyons and valleys, you know, before we get to those peaks. And so, um, but we can also appreciate those canyons and valleys too. And there's beauty there and love as well. So, um, yeah, adventure is the heart and the nature of this series as well. And um, lastly, information. Um, I'm, I may come across an article or something with some helpful tips on hiking or camping or uh, maybe even some health tips that can apply to outdoor pursuits. So I might share something from another page um, and uh, it's, it's meant to inform you and, and help you to make the right decisions when you're setting out um, into the outdoors or into the unknown. So I'll share some of that too. And I also want to hear from you. I want to hear your story. What's your tale of the trail? What inspires you? What um, what did you learn when you set off on that next adventure that you um, did over the weekend or uh, over the summer or whenever you went out? So I do want to hear from you. So feel free to post your stories and I'll feature you on the page. I'd love to hear what you're up to as well because I'm nosy too. Um, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. So that's that's pretty much um, what tales of the what tales of the trails is in a nutshell. I want to thank you again for joining me and um, please tell your friends about this page. I'm going to keep um, putting content on there and a lot of what I may post in the coming days is going to be things that I've posted previously either on my personal page or um, on the blog but um, if you're new to the site it'll be new to you so I'm some of you may be seeing it uh, double or triple posted. I apologize if you already saw it but um, those of you that are new Hopefully you get something great out of it. And it's nice to meet you. Thank you again for joining uh, the page. Like I said, share it with your friends. I've got a lot of stuff um, planned for Tales of the Trails. I cannot wait for what the rest of the year and the years to come have in store. See you soon.